Hello and welcome again. My name is Reef as always and you are joining me for another episode of uh, First Impressions Friday. Now, I lie, we are playing Firewatch, don't you worry guys, this is not a new game. You are not in the wrong place, I'm just in the wrong set of mind. Um, the campfire is here, but the campfire smokes over there. Which makes no sense. Okay, let me just uh see where the fuck we're going. Maybe they went upstream. I'm still looking for that smoke though. Hmm. I wonder though, what did you, what do you guys think did that um, tore up that tent like that and tore off his clothes? I mean that is quite terrifying. Probably isn't anything in this game that will actually try and kill me, other than bears. Bears are usually dangerous. Usually, even Yogi Bear is dangerous, and he is smarter than the average bear, so that uh, makes him especially dangerous. I have no idea what I'm rambling about. I also have no idea why I'm rambling about it. Okay, there seems to be no real way down here, hey? Um Hey, what's to the south of here? Um Mexico? Is this some sort of riddle? I just have a nice view to the south. You know, trees and mountains forever. Well, eventually you'll wander into the area overseen by Chimney Rock Lookout, but that's probably an impossible hike in terms of terrain. Fair enough, fair enough, um, Delilah. But Henry, Henry is a badass. Actually, he's just bad and a bit of an ass. Actually, he's a big ass. He has a big ass. He should die it. Okay, no, this doesn't seem to be anything around here we're still looking for the source of that smoke which um i cannot find i cannot see the smoke i am obviously blind obviously luckily henry on the other hand isn't blind Wh what did you see Yes, no. Okay, fine enough. There are towers over there. Which is good. Probably I should go over there. Maybe visit. Um, see what I can see. Just stomp this a bit some more. Good, good, good. Hmm. Hoping to find two very alive and not dead teenagers, females. Um, either that or aliens. I don't know, do you think this game would have aliens? How do you guys feel about aliens in general? And I don't mean like... Um, well, any aliens, I guess, except um, the illegal type. <laughs> okay. Calmly expecting the area. I fucking should probably run. Nose is still a bit irritated from that bug from before. That um, tried to invade it. The fucking bastard. 
I don't know guys, I don't think there is anything left inside here. It um, looks kind of dead endy. And it still says find the source of the smoke. Though I put down uh, put out a fire. So I don't know. Maybe there's something behind the waterfall? I don't know why there's always this fascination with possible things behind a waterfall. I don't know if there is any way to get behind the waterfall at all. Let's uh, get a bit of higher ground and see what we can see. Maybe there's something obvious I'm missing. Though, it doesn't look that way for me. I think it was just that thing I picked up. We've been here before. We've explore, explored this area. Man, my tongue is so fucking stupid. So... Maybe... They've decided to run away. Maybe they found a possible better way out. Oh well, guess there's no other way than uh, to explore. That's the joy of these games, isn't it? Exploration, adventure, a journey of a lifetime. Be like Captain Ahab and catch that fucking white whale. Moby Dick. Um. Whoa, I, uh, I found a turtle. Maybe it's a, a tortoise. It's a thing with a shell. <laughs> well, isn't that something? It's oh actually pretty my cute. fucking god. Well, Henry, if you decide you wanted to keep you company, nobody will mind. Oh, it's what adorable. It? Looks like a, uh, hmm. Turt Reynolds. Turt Reynolds. <laughs> <laughs> well, now I can't wait to see him. Good. The I'm gonna adopt him. Impressive. You tell him I love Cannonball Run. Oh yeah, I will do. Okay, so that's that. Well, at least you find a fucking turtle, Turt Reynolds. Good guy, good guy. Obviously named after Bert Reynolds, the well-known actor. Ooh, my nose is itching. Ah, it's so irritated. <laughs> if you ever know how fucking irritating it is for a a midge to fly into your nose, it is not good. Um. That's a cache. I'm basically going backwards, it seems. Um, I mean, this isn't really a big area, so it shouldn't be so hard to fucking find them. Maybe I should just use the other route, the other road, the road less taken. Is this a... Uh, where the fuck am I? This uh, seems to be it, to be honest. Okay, the waterway stops up there. That's one thing about this game that kind of breaks the immersion is all the 
areas you can't reach due to invisible walls. But on the other hand, it's not done in a way that's really intrusive, it's just annoying. I mean, it doesn't feel really, I don't know, free. You don't really, you get that, the, you don't get the illusion that you are free. You get, just feel that you're stuck. Stuck in a place with um, no way out. No way out. Maybe they fucking jumped. I think that's what they do. They fucking jumped. They jumped down and they killed themselves. After running away from the enraged bull elk. Yeah, that uh, sounds like a plausible thing that happened. Uh huh. Go bears. I don't know which do you guys preferred. Um, bull elks or bears? Please comment below. Let me know. Okay, no, there's nothing over here. We have a scrap of fabric, that's fine. So whatever whatever got them came from this way and went out, obviously. And there's only one way out. And there is no campfire. Maybe let's just take um, some evidence right there of them stealing my set. I stole my set. And hope for the best. Oh wait, wait, wait! There's a fucking note here. Uh, looks like someone left a note. Intriguing. Maybe you should read it. Okay. Um, yeah. Let me know what it says. I uh, hope you're fucking happy. We're leaving, and we're going to find the police or whatever. To tell them about how you creeped on us in the lake. And then came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. Oh, and ceiling panties is gross. Out. Probably a mental fucking axe murder. And he also going to tell. I hope it was worth being a jerk. Over some... Fireworks. Dick. Um. Oh, they're gone, for sure. Well, what's it say? to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, uh, did you? No. Look, I didn't do anything to them, but it looks like someone had it out for them. Then why do they think it's you? Fuck, I don't know. Huh. Hey, I don't. I believe you. Come on, Henry. All right. All right, it's just it's weird what happened. Sorry about I watched the time weird because I'm fucking blind. <laughs> I'm pretty sure someone's screaming. There's a fucking trip. note! We really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops, they're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. That does make me wonder... Oh! Day 3! Well, that saves me time. At least now I have don't have to fucking walk all the way back. Apparently this game is really, really short, but for me, because I'm stupid, it's a bit long. Ooh. Oh yeah. You're gonna hit your fucking finger, Henry. Find board sounds here to patch the window. Can't be too hey, hard. Henry? Ah hey. Um what do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. Okay, I need a Well, I get confused for Burt Reynolds all the time. Oh, is that so? Women say that we have a similar musk. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, you asked. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Did you actually God, just... you are the whitest man. Wow. <laughs> I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? 
Um, panties. Uh, I don't know. I like to look nice, usually. Well, I mm -hmm. try mm -hmm. now, mm -hmm. I guess. Mm -hmm. Had a bit of a schlubby period, did we? Yeah, a good 25, 30 years, yeah. <laughs> but, um, now you'll put on a, a clean shirt? Yeah, well, I, I have one that I got for Christmas, actually. Just, um, it's navy with white buttons, but I, I like it. I don't wear it that much, though. Well, it sounds just perfect. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh... <laughs> Uh, I have a thick beard. Uh, pretty thick beard. Oh, have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right, perfect. Yeah, even so as a baby, you know um, uh, I had a beard as I'm I. I'm you. I need to know. Okay. What? Is is that okay? Uh. Don't, yeah. <laughs> don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes. Tell me. Um, happy. Uh, they're happy. I think. I mean, I've been told they look happy. Julia told you that, huh? Look, I don't know how to describe eyes. Happy is good. That's good. Happy is good. Okay, got it. Thank you don't you sound me. fucking happy, Henry. You know what you need? Absolutely. Oh, and that uh, window is all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, uh, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Sure. Oh. Good. Yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. Haha. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm ready. I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Yeah, I have. Of course. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's uh, not really that comfy. I mean, it's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. <laughs> well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. Well, day nine. Holy shit. That was a bit un <laughs> unexpected. <laughs> Sorry about that. Ooh, sandwich. Where the fuck did I get a sandwich from? Afternoon. Oh yeah. Um. Yeah. No, no. Not too bad. I could get used to it out here. That's nice. Look. Um. I called with bad news. Two uh. young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California. Oh my God. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. Um, well, I'm happy. You should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? Um. I, I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Nope, won't do. Ah, here's... Oh, day 15. Holy shit. So, I think that guy... Oh, that guy that, Henry. um, creeped us Henry, out. Wake up. What? Get out of bed and pick up the radio. Um... What do you want? Hey! You big dumb idiot. Oh, you drunk? What? Hi, Jules. Oh, you sound tired. Hmm, I am. Are you having a nice time? No. Um. Some uh, weird things happened. I don't know. There's some weird stuff going on. Oh, that's too bad. Like speaking mm, to my sure it'll be fine. crazy wife. Well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. Mm, uh, what? Nice. Mm -hmm, sure. Bye, baby. Is Henry crazy? 
That was fucking weird. Um, okay. Is it too okay. much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand-delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're what? out hiking in 90 degree heat and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Yes, yes anyway, it is. When you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my jerky sister sounds six good. prunes a day. Six. What? She's like really precise about it. Jesus Christ. She created this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. Uh huh. Anyway, I think I'm going to end this episode right here. And, um, yeah, we're going to go. So, like, two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night. Uh. I was sleeping, I guess, and. All I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. Oh, weird. It was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. Um. Well, I shouldn't I should be. be out here. Yes, you should. No, I just ran away from my problems. No, you didn't. We all well, um. Up. This conversation is going on longer than I thought. So, so we'll, we'll just wait for it to finish and then I'll job, finish the episode I, right there. I was with this guy, Javier. Ugh, Javier. Caring, sexy as hell. He was a driller down in Casper. Ooh. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. Holy shit! Delilah, how can I end an episode of you going on and on and on? Get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette, and the shaving company. For some reason, I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When mm -hmm. I came back, he left me. I came wow. back here. I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. I've just lied about it for over ten years. And, uh, for some reason, I wanted you to know. Uh, okay. I figured you've told me so much about you. So, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. Pretty much, Delilah. Pretty much. Anyway, I'm ending this episode right here, Delilah. No fucking choice in this. Okay, bye-bye.